Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to use noise displacement. First, create a sphere by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing sphere from the pop-up palette. Then open the display menu of the viewport and choose Guru Shading Lines to display the elements of the sphere. As you can see, the elements of the sphere vary in shape from one to another, which will lead to different displacement on different parts of the sphere. To fix this, select the sphere in the Object Manager, go to the Object tab and change the sphere type from Standard to Hexahedron. Now the elements of the sphere have become more similar to each other. Increase the number of sphere segments to 100 and turn off the display of lines on the sphere by opening the display menu and clicking on the Guru shading without lines. Create a displacer deformer by clicking and holding on the bend icon and choosing displacer from the pop-up palette. After that, make the displacer deformer a child of the sphere. Click on the displacer in the object manager, go to the shading tab, click on the small triangle to the right of the shader and select noise from the drop-down menu. To make the surface smoother, create a subdivision surface by clicking on the subdivision surface icon and make the sphere object a child of the subdivision surface object. Now select the displacer object in the object manager, click on the noise button to open the noise shader properties, go to the shader tab and open the noise drop-down menu. There are a lot of different types of noise available here, but in this example we will use the default type of noise, which is called noise. Adjust the noise properties, such as global scale, low clip, high clip, brightness, and contrast. To animate the noise displacement, set the animation speed to 1 and press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. It's ok, stop the animation. Now select the displacer object in the object manager and go to the field step. Click on the linear field to create a linear field object. If you want to create a different type of field, click and hold on the linear field and select the type of field you want to create. But let's go back to the linear field we created. Let's adjust the default camera in the viewport so that the z-axis of the sphere is directed away from you. The displacement in a linear field increases along the axis which is specified by the direction property. The length property determines the length of the field in which displacement increases. To achieve the desired effect, you can also drag the field object in the viewport. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.